Welcome to the Bible Quiz Channel. Get ready for 15 questions exploring the life and teachings of Jesus. Subscribe, like, and share your score. Join as a member for exclusive content. Let's begin. Question 1. Who did Jesus commend for having great faith after healing a servant at the centurion's request? A. A Pharisee. B. The centurion. C. A disciple. D. Mary Magdalene. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Gospel of Matthew, chapter 8, verse 10. When Jesus heard it, he marveled and said to them that followed, Verily I say unto you, I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. Question 2. What did Jesus say to the thief on the cross who asked to be remembered when Jesus came into his kingdom? A. You shall have great rewards in heaven. B. Your sins are forgiven. C. Today shalt thou be with me in paradise. D. Go and sin no more. Time to think. The right answer is letter C. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, Today shalt thou be with me in paradise. Gospel of Luke, chapter 23, verse 43. Question 3. What did Jesus say about forgiving others while praying? A. Pray without mentioning forgiveness. B. Ask for strength to forgive later. C. Forgive others if you have anything against anyone. D. Only seek forgiveness for yourself. Time to think. The right answer is letter C. And when ye stand praying, forgive, if ye have aught against any, that your Father also which is in heaven may forgive you your trespasses. Gospel of Mark, chapter 11, verse 25. Question 4. Who did Jesus call the light of the world? A. His disciples. B. Himself. C. John the Baptist. D. The Pharisees. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Gospel of John, chapter 8, verse 12. Question 5. What did Jesus say about those who look back after putting their hand to the plow? A. They are fit for the kingdom of God. B. They are not fit for the kingdom of God. C. They will receive a great reward. D. They will be forgiven if they repent. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. 
And Jesus said unto him, No man, having put his hand to the plow and looking back, is fit for the kingdom of God. Gospel of Luke, chapter 9, verse 62. Question 6. What did Jesus say happens to the seed that falls on good ground? A. It is choked by thorns. B. It withers away after sprouting. C. It brings forth fruit, some an hundredfold, some sixtyfold, some thirtyfold. D. It is eaten by birds. Time to think. The right answer is letter C. But other fell into good ground and brought forth fruit, some an hundredfold, some sixtyfold, some thirtyfold. Gospel of Matthew, chapter 13, verse 8. Question 7. What did Jesus say about giving to Caesar? A. Pay to Caesar only what you think is fair. B. Do not give anything to Caesar, for all belongs to God. C. Keep your wealth and give nothing to Caesar. D. Render therefore unto Caesar the things which are Caesar's, and unto God the things that are God's. Time to think. The right answer is letter D. Render therefore unto Caesar the things which are Caesar's, and unto God the things that are God's. Gospel of Matthew, chapter 22, verse 21. Question 8. In the parable of the weeds, what did Jesus say the field represents? A. The world. B. The church. C. The kingdom of heaven. D. The heart of man. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. The field is the world. Gospel of Matthew, chapter 13 verse 38. Question 9. In the parable of the pearl of great value, what did the merchant do after finding one pearl of great price? A. He showed it to his friends. B. He sold all that he had and bought it. C. He kept it hidden in a field. D. He gave it to a poor man. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Gospel of Matthew, chapter 13, verse 46. Who when he had found one pearl of great price, went and sold all that he had and bought it. Question 10. What did Lord Jesus say would happen to the wicked husbandmen in the parable of the tenants? A. They would be forgiven. B. They would be given another chance. C. They would be destroyed. D. They would be ignored. Time to think. The right answer is letter C. He will miserably destroy those wicked men and will let out his vineyard unto other husbandmen, 
which shall render him the fruits in their seasons. Gospel of Matthew, chapter 21, verse 41. Question 11. In which city was Jesus crucified? A. Nazareth. B. Jerusalem. C. Bethlehem. D. Capernaum. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. And when they were come to the place which is called Calvary, there they crucified him and the malefactors, one on the right hand and the other on the left. Gospel of Luke, chapter 23, verse 33. Question 12. How many virgins took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom in the parable of the virgins? A. Five virgins. B. Eight virgins. C. Ten virgins. D. Twelve virgins. Time to think. The right answer is letter C. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. Gospel of Matthew, chapter 25, verse 1. Question 13. How does Jesus describe his knowledge of his sheep? A. As a shepherd knows his sheep. B. As a stranger knows the sheep. C. As an owner knows his possessions. D. As an employer knows his workers. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. I am the good shepherd, and know my sheep, and am known of mine. As the Father knoweth me, even so know I the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. Gospel of John, chapter 10, verses 14-15. Question 14. How did the Jews react to Jesus claiming, I and my Father are one? A. They rejoiced and believed. B. They took up stones to stone him. C. They mocked him. D. They remained indifferent. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Then the Jews took up stones again to stone him. Gospel of John, chapter 10, verse 31. Question 15. Who is described as coming after John the Baptist, whose shoes latch it John feels unworthy to unloose? A. Peter. B. James. C. Jesus. D. Paul. Time to think. The right answer is letter C. He it is, who coming after me is preferred before me whose shoes latch it I am not worthy to unloose. Gospel of John, chapter 1, verse 27. Wow, that was an enlightening journey through the scriptures. How did you fare? Remember, whether you aced it or learned something new today, the Word of God is always full of wonders waiting to be explored. 
Now, if you enjoyed this quiz, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with your friends and family. Let's see how they do. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to stay updated with more quizzes and biblical insights. And most importantly, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Comment down below with your score, any questions you might have, or even suggestions for future quizzes. Together we can grow and deepen our understanding of God's Word. Thank you for joining us today, and may you always be blessed on your spiritual journey. Until next time, stay inspired.